But first tonight, a major shake-up of social care to bring an end to what's been described as unpredictable and catastrophic care costs has been announced by the Prime Minister. Under the reforms set out by Boris Johnson today, no one will have to stump up more than £86,000 towards the cost of care in their lifetime. The idea is to remove the burden of paying for care from those who can least afford it. But at what cost? It will be funded by the taxpayer with a 1.25% hike in national insurance contributions. But most of that will, in the first instance, go towards shoring up the NHS post-pandemic leaving critics claiming care for the elderly and vulnerable has once again been neglected. Lisa Adlam has our main story. Well, next to the row brewing in Sheffield over a now cancelled performance by the controversial funny man Roy Chubby Brown. It's fair to say the comedian, real name Royston Vasey, isn't everyone's cup of tea. Indeed, his critics have widely accused the 76-year-old of using sexist and racist language in his routines. But when a gig planned for Sheffield City Hall next year was axed by the trust which runs the venue, it sparked an angry response from his fans, as Adam Fowler reports. OK, stay with us, because still to come on the programme this evening. Some news in brief now, and two teenagers have been arrested after a boy suffered serious injuries in an attack at a school in Rotherham. The two, a motorcyclist who died when his bike collided with a car and another motorbike travelling in the opposite direction in Bramham on Sunday morning, has been named by police. Well, a little earlier I caught up with Rob's rather lovely dad, Jeff, from his home in Castleford. I started by asking him what difference the new centre would make. Well, that was Jeff Burrow speaking to me a little earlier. Not like his son, pretty inspirational himself. Yeah, I love to see the positivity of that family in the face of all, all that they're facing at the moment. Uh, OK, well, the ITV Evening News continues at 6. Here's a look at what's happening with Mary Nightingale. Next to the worrying research suggesting there's been a big surge in cases of young people developing ticks during lockdown and predictions that the overall number could actually double by the end of the year. Yes, ticks and Tourette's syndrome are fast and repetitive muscle movements that result in sudden and hard to control body jolts and sounds. Their intensity can fluctuate from one day to the next. Now one specialist in Sheffield has told Calendar that with stress playing a major part, it's hardly surprising we've seen such a rise through the pandemic. Well, while they might cut emissions, some critics say the lithium-ion batteries that power most of them bring their own problems. I think it's ion, actually, it isn't is, it? Yeah. <laughs> Said that twice wrong today. There are concerns over the supplies of metals used in them and the batteries are currently difficult to recycle. Kevin Ashford reports. Kevin, thank you. OK, John's here now with the weather. Uh, you know, we give you some stick when the weather's not very nice, but I'll give you some credit. <laughs> it's been glorious. You, you give me a lot <laughs> of stick. Oh, well, that's not nice. Job. How long's it going to last? <laughs> not very long. I can give you some stick again then by later in the week. Yeah. Oh, thanks ever so much, John. Maybe what we need is what we've got in our next piece, a Spitfire to get out of here into somewhere warmer. Because <laughs> uh, the Spitfire was the iconic aircraft which changed the course of World War II. There were just 30 left out of thousands built in this country which are still capable of flying. Well, today, two of them returned to an airfield in Leeds, which was a base for Spitfires during the war. Katie Oscroft reports. How amazing just seeing how excited they yeah. were and how much it means to them, of course. Yeah, yeah. Um, will it be clear skies? Here's John. Thank you, John. That's it from us. Our next update at 11 o'clock this evening. And national and international stories are next with Mary Nightingale. But for now, from the team here on Calendar, thanks very much for watching. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye.